Adam at Flash building here. And in this lesson, we're showing you how to create proper reflections because we notice so many people make improper reflections. Hello, everybody. Adam at Flash building here with another quick Fireworks CS4 tip for all of you Adobe Design junkies. And I notice a lot of people, many of you guys may know about this technique, but a lot of you guys don't because I see it a lot all over the web improper improperly made reflections so let's drag out a rectangle there let's go down to gradient let's give it a linear gradient and let's go ahead and make this maybe that gray this can be black then let's make this and bring this so all you gotta do is really click anywhere here and it adds a new color point and then you bring them together and you can make like a solid line something like that you can get it really tight there you go now so say you had something like that and you had your logo Let's make it all caps. Flash building. And it was bring up the pixel or the font size. And you can make it any font you want that you have it in. It like might look funky. Let's see what's funky. Yeah, no, it looks funky. No, I don't like the way that one comes down there. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so Hobo STD. All right, so say you have your logo and you want to make a proper reflection. This is what I see a lot of people doing. Control C, Control V, then they flip it upside down, and then they don't go through very much trouble at all. They just bring down the opacity. I see a lot of people doing that and that that's not good that doesn't work let's make these white so I don't care how opaque you make it it doesn't look true okay so bring it all the way back up and instead of bringing the opacity down just go up to commands creative auto vector mask and this is the proper way that way whatever kind of background you're on you just press apply you pick the the type of gradient you want to apply to it and you press apply I'm gonna apply this linear now let's just transform that let's put that here and let's bring this one around to where it makes a proper reflection now we're gonna adjust this dot let's grab it let's bring it up 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 to about right there let's bring this down some more and bring this up, 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 up. Now that's how you make a reflection. So whether or not you had a gradient, like that gray surface looking thing I have there, it, it doesn't matter. See, even if I have it all up in black up here, it still looks good. Whoa, just disappeared. Ah, I moved the gradient. Double click, get the gradient back down where it should be. Right there, see? So whether you have it here or there, makes no difference. Whether it's on a background, the surface, see? It looks more true. So use the auto vector mask, it's very easy, it makes a very nice effect. Okay, see you next lesson, goodbye.